Hi, I'm Teresa and this is my Mosey. Um, so there's a few things I want to talk about today. The first thing is um, these floppy disks, which I'm kind of horrified that I'm old enough to be holding in my hand something that's now considered to be a historical item um, and that could be considered you know, part of an archive exhibition in the, the Museum of Science and Industry. Something that I'm much more comfortable thinking about as a historical item is this beautiful Remington typewriter. It's called the, uh, the World Service Edition and was originally purchased in 1930, um, which makes it kind of over 80 years old. And what I love about this is that um, even though it's over 80 years old, it's still fully functional. Um, and even though the, uh, the typewriter ribbon is really old, you can still type letters on it. It's really beautiful. Um, incredibly loud, incredibly noisy, um, and it makes me think of when they had typewriter pools and they will have had kind of hundreds of typewriters all going at once. How women will cope with all that noise, I don't know, but uh, a really beautiful item that was clearly built to last and um, is still working really well to this day. The next thing I wanted to talk about is um, I've got a couple of PIFCO items. I've had to wean myself off of PIFCO items. I bought quite a lot over the years and I'm left with just a couple. And the one that I've got here, this trouser presser, this is typical of the kind of PIFCO design um, and style, which I really love. It's really kind of characterful and really beautiful to look at. But what I also love is, is the um, very specific nature of, of, of what it says about design and industry back in the, uh, back in the 50s. Um, there was one item for one job. Um, and so you could end up with a household full of, of different products and it says a lot really about an age of optimism whereby you could go out and buy lots of different products um, for your home to do all these different tasks and of course the woman was at home and had nothing but time on her hands to do all of these things and so here is a beautiful trouser presser um, to keep the, uh, the bored housewife occupied at home. And another PIFCO item, um, slightly less of an ingenious, this one, because it's a, um, a travel iron. But what you can't tell um, from this clip is just how heavy this is. So um, it's not exactly the kind of travel that we'd be used to these days, where you'll just uh, <laughs> jump on a, uh, a flight and go to Tenerife. This would be all of your um, airplane weight um, allowance already in this one item here so although it's very beautiful um, not quite as functional maybe as the as the trouser presser and the final item just to go full circle really and take us all the way back this is a beautiful darning mushroom that belonged to my grandma and my grandma was a seamstress and she made all of her own clothes all of the family's clothes she knitted um, and obviously she will have darned um, and so this this darning mushroom is what, what would have been used to keep the family socks going uh, from hand-me-down to hand-me-down and, and, and get more life out of each one item rather than just throwing things away and buying a new pack. And I like to think that um, in my more optimistic moments that this is where we're heading more these days, going back to a, a lifestyle that's more re reduce, reuse, recycle and it is really going back to these old-fashioned values um, of not just throwing things out but um, finding a way to repair and make do and mend. So, um, and that spirit of optimism, I'll just sum up and I hope you enjoyed my Mosey.